Have you ever wondered what it would be like to play a Snoop Dogg in a Grand Theft Auto game? Well, we know about GTA rivals like Driver, Saints Row, and so many other series out there, but did you know that back in 2004, Snoop Dogg actually tried to make a GTA rival game? You know, back then, things were way different. A lot of rappers were having games made after them. 50 Cent had two of them, so Snoop Dogg was probably just trying to jump onto that bandwagon there. But this game actually got canceled. And the closest we got to it was playing as Snoop Dogg in True Crime as a secret unlockable. So if y'all enjoy this video, let's go for 3,000 likes. If so, I will shave off this pathetic mustache. Subscribe if y'all want to, and I hope you enjoy. First announced in September 2004, Fear and Respect was a game that was set to be released for the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, and the Xbox 360s. Although the game was canned in March 2006, it was set to be produced by John Singleton, who actually passed away in April 2019. So if there was ever a time to bring this game back to light, remaster it and make it happen, it would definitely be now. This is a world-renowned producer who has directed movies like Boys in the Hood, Too Fast and Too Furious, and many others. And even in an interview way back in the day with Scott Lane about this game, one of the few things we know is that the producer, John Singleton, was very active within video games. He's also involved in the game. John, um, John is a diehard gamer. He's on Xbox Live every night. He plays PS2 games all the time. And we value his feedback. You know, it's, it's really been a collaboration with John, Snoop, Edge of Reality. I thought that was pretty cool. So the whole premise of the game features Snoop Dogg, also known as Goldie, and many other characters. And what you do is you play around a third-person Los Angeles with the objective of the game to fight and gain respect of rival gangs in South Central Los Angeles. If the player gains enough gangs respect, then they will treat you nice. They'll treat you like an ally. However, if you choose to be very disrespectful to other gangs and wreak havoc upon the city, then the outcome will be very, very different. So that is one of the cool features of the game and literally where it gets its name fear and respect because in mission two you can do something that in mission 20 if you did it very bad will come back to bite you in a negative manner so it seems like this game was definitely way ahead of its time it was obviously trying to rival with grand theft auto san andreas which had actually just released in the same year so i imagine snoop dogg with a bunch of guys sitting around getting super high saying hey we need to make a game that is as successful as this one because these guys are all about making some money. And with San Andreas doing all of that, well, what better way to do that? Now, as time went on at the time of the announcement, there were very few details released about the game. We had one trailer, 13 screenshots, and that's about it. And the screenshots were actually made available by the game's developer, Midway Games, who is now since defunct as of 2009, meaning they're just no longer in business. But in regards to those 13 screenshots that were released, I want to go over a couple of them. So the first one we have here is actually taken from the trailer, which I'll show y'all a little bit later on in the video. Uh, got a couple more clips of Snoop Dogg from the trailer. But we also have here some pretty cool behind-the-scenes clips and footage of different animals and NPCs in the game. The first one we have here is of some vicious-looking dogs, just some sweet little babies. Uh, and then we've got Snoop Dogg. So this one's pretty cool and just the classic T-pose. This is what he would have looked like in the game, or I'm guessing one of the many variants of him as you could probably choose different outfits judging by the trailers and things like that and then we also have this little npc right here i think this is pretty cool definitely just takes you right back to 2004 and then to finish things off, you can definitely tell this game was inspired by Grand Theft Auto because the other screenshots that were released are more or less concept art type images, and they're really cool. I think they're awesome. I think they look good, but it's definitely like a, a low-budget GTA, or at least it would have been. So on the topic of why this game got canceled, like I mentioned a moment ago, there's really not too much information and intel out there as to why, other than what I'm talking about in this video. If you Google it, you will literally just find what I talk about so there actually is a pretty interesting theory as to why this game would have been canceled so although it was set for a 2006 release as of march 1st 2006 the game was officially canceled and reported by gamespot it was believed the game was actually canceled because of growing competition within the urban themed video games market 
This is actually, fun fact, the earliest canceled game for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. So this theory, if you actually sit down and think about it, actually makes a bit of sense. So with the dawn of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, a lot of story-driven single-player games say that were inspired by movies, like Scarface The World Is Yours, which was a great game, or GTA Vice City, or many other games out there, those just started to die out linear style point A to point B to point C single player games that you play through the store you beat and then there's really no longevity to it those were dying out Call of Duty was taken over Medal of Honor multiplayer games that's kind of what happened there so maybe that makes sense as to why this game got canceled not too sure but what i am sure of is if this game actually did release back in 2006 not only was 2006 a great year for games and story driven games like this it was just a great time to be a gamer and if this game like i said would have released back then we would be talking about it now as a classic it wouldn't be just an old failed gta clone it has snoop dogg it would be a classic like 50 cents games on the PlayStation 2, which I think that's also what they were trying to do, just on the time scale and things like that. Things just didn't work out. So that's that. But you know how I mentioned a moment ago how if there was ever a time to remaster this game or make it happen, it would be now? Well, Snoop Dogg actually talked about that in June 2019. He talked about the game, and I want y'all to have a listen in here. It's pretty cool. Speaking of games, you know, rest in peace to John Singleton, but you were working with him on fear and respect. It was going to rival GTA. Mm. Can you tell us a little bit about mm. just what was going on with that? Because we, unfortunately, it was canceled, and it could have been the biggest thing man that that game was gonna be hard because we had sat down and we had really put together a real story that was like a motion picture with a few things that got dropped behind the wall as far as the people video game early didn't really understand what we was trying to do so it, it got dropped but i think it was a great idea and it should be revisited in the memory of john singleton now i'm gonna ask this what kind of storyline was it if you could utilize a movie or something that people may know in terms of a reference like what kind of storyline because john singleton was great for showing the inner workings and complexities of south la so i think it was like if you if you've ever seen boys in the hood minister society and uh south central if you've seen those movies this this video game was a depiction of all three of them put together with me being the lead character now, in addition to that, you've also played... All right, well, with that said, that is the canceled Grand Theft Auto rival with Snoop Dogg that never happened. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe with notifications on for more video game content like this on the channel. And before I go, I'm actually going to play the original trailer to this game. The only thing is, I'm going to put some different music over it because of copyright. It's got a Snoop Dogg song. So if y'all want to check out the real trailer with the real music, link is in the description alongside every source. Love y'all. Catch you on the flip side. Smoke weed every day.